Ugh, so bored. Do I have any, any good games in here? Ugh. Ooh, what's this? V-Bucks? Alright. Free V-Bucks. Oh my gosh. Yes! Yes, please! What? What? Welcome, cool coding kids, my programming peeps. Welcome to the very first, the number one, the very first video of 2020 digital technologies. Yes, first video of 2020. We're going to help you get the 20, the 20 out of 20 for digital technologies. Today, by very popular demand, this very first video is making a mobile app. Yes, you too can be like Snapchat and lose half a billion dollars a year and yet somehow make billions of dollars in investment. Let's get right into it. We're going to use a thing called PhoneGap. PhoneGap is really cool. Just Google PhoneGap and this will come right up. Uh, hit start. It lets you make a mobile app just using HTML, JavaScript, CSS, stuff we've done before. You're going to need to install the desktop program the desktop app for Mac or for Windows, click on it, download, run it, yada yada yada, do all that. I am one step ahead of the game, aren't I always? Uh, and I've already got it installed right here. So you get something like this once you've got it installed. Um, and we're going to make our very first mobile app. Really excited, really keen guys. So click the plus, create new phone gap project. Um, and you can pick a template to start from. Now, later, have a look at Hello World. It's interesting, and some of the other ones. But today, let's keep it simple. Keep it simple, silly. Kiss principle. Let's just go blank. Okay, so click the plus. Make a new project just with a blank and empty phone gap app. Whack that next button. Whack that like button while we're at it. Um... You need to choose a location. I'm going to... Well, I've already got a folder here called Phone Gap Demonstration. So I'm going to put it in there. Uh, name. Our app. Maybe I'll call it... Um, I don't know. My first mobile app. There you go. Really creative. You can put an ID. You don't have to. Looks good. Yeah, let's make it. Oh, really excited. Really excited. Creating project. You can get there, you can get there. Um, it's creating the project in the folder that we set. I've already got an icon here. Anything appearing in there? No? Doesn't want to make any things? Duh. Come on, you can do it, you can do it. Um, if you're watching, if you're watching from home, maybe if you can just give a little cheer. I think it just needs a little cheer from you at home. Come on, give it a, like a, a yippee, a yeah, whatever. Yeet, whatever kids say these days, I don't really know. Is Yeet still a thing? No. Maybe, I don't know. <sighs> Yay, there we go. I was going to edit that out, but I probably won't. Now, we want to look at this app. We want to see how it looks. It is an empty app, so... <laughs> spoiler alert, heads up, it's going to be a super duper boring app. Um, you can click on one of these links. These are the different... IP addresses associated with your computer, um, and that will open it in a browser. Alternatively, because this is just HTML, JavaScript, the stuff we're used to, if you go to the local path, that will show where it's saved on your computer. It'll go to that folder in you know Windows Explorer, Finder, whatever. And there's a folder called www. Yeah, see that? Hit that. Hit that for me. Double click on it, and there's an index.html. That page is your app. That is the very first page that your app will see. You want to double click on it? There we go. Blank app. Like it's exactly what it says on the tin, right? That's what we asked for. We asked for a blank empty app and it could not be blanker or emptier than this. To make it a bit more interesting, um, I use Atom to type my code. Uh, you can use whatever you want. I don't know. I'm, I'm an Atom. Some days I'm an Atom guy. Whatever. Um, if you want to install Atom, you can go to atom.io, or just Google Atom, and it'll probably come up. Cool. 
Anyway, I've already got it installed. I've got it here. A good way to get your project in Atom, so you can see all the files, is go back to it. Maybe I'll go back here. And drag and drop the folder. You can um, drag and drop the icon on Windows or Mac. Just drag and drop that folder. And that whole folder will be open in Atom. There you go. Easy. You can go to www. You can go to that index.html. You can change it so you can say, this is my first app ever. And I am super psyched. Woo! And I think that this I am super psyched should probably be big. <laughs> like, this is a heading. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to put in a h1 tag because of the heading. Save that. Remember, you know, you see the little icon there that says it's not saved. Save it with Control S, Command S. Then go over here, hit Refresh, or Control R. Cool. There's our app. How neat is that? And you might be saying, uh, wait a minute, Mr. Ranieri, you're trying to dupe me here because that is not an app. I have seen apps before, and that is not an app. That is a web page, and it's probably the most boring web page ever created. Well, you're right. But you are also very wrong, because with PhoneGap, the thing we're using, um, you can go into... Well, it's used to make mobile apps, so there are things we can do here that um, will let us access you know, notifications geolocation, like your location apps or whatever, stuff like that, vibrate. But also, PhoneGap has an online service called PhoneGap Build. So if you Google PhoneGap Build, it's by Adobe, um, you get to a page like this, you'll need to sign in, you'll need to make an account. Once you've made an account, you get something like this. Yeah, this is the app screen, welcoming you, ready to put your very first app. Um, and this is going to be the app. Uh, okay. Sorry, it's hard to control my breathing. It's just too exciting. Go into your folder again. And just get all of this stuff here and zip it up. Yeah? Uh, zip, send to compressed folder. Or you go right-click compress on a Mac. Just like all of that stuff and compress it. Now it's getting all these files and squishing them together into one zip file. It does two things, combines them into one file, and also makes the file size smaller, using compression. Huh? Well, who do you two, Windows? That's what I say. Hopefully this worked. It made this thing called hooks.zip, because that's the first thing that it could find. I'm going to call it my first mobile. Maybe I'll call it version 1, just so I don't get confused. You don't have to do that. There we go, excellent. And then, I just drag that into the upload a zip file. Oh, love this thing, love PhoneGap. It could not make it more easier. Um, one thing that's really cool about PhoneGap is that you can use the same code for all platforms. You do it, and then uh, if I click on my first ready to build, yeah, build, please, do, do not let me stop you. Um, and it makes it for iOS, it makes it for Android, it makes it for Windows, for all the people with the Windows phone out there. You know, you do not want to neglect all six Windows phone users in the world. Well, that would be very sad. Um, now, you scan this QR code, boom, there is your app. Like, try it, try it. Um, by the way, iOS is trash, um, Apple is super duper frustrating, and Apple will not let you even test your app, it even, they won't even let you try your app on your own phone unless you join the, well, unless you get a signing key, and to get a signing key, you need to join the Apple Developer Program, and to be in the Apple Developer Program, you need to pay 150 Australian dollars a year. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Apple. But anyway, um, on Android, you can scan the QR code, uh, or you can log on your phone, click install, um, and then look at your app. Anytime you want to update the app, you're going to have to go back onto PhoneGap, go to your app, and go update code, 
and then drag and drop a new zip file in there. If you click rebuild all, then you know it won't do anything because you actually need to upload your new code. So go update code, you know, delete the old zip file, make a new one, and that's how you can update it. Whew! Alright. Um, by the way, that's a really convoluted process, and it's kind of annoying to test stuff on a phone. The screen is so tiny. Normally, what I do is I make my app look really good in Chrome with this thing. Yeah. Uh, if you're not sure how to get that, by the way, right-click, inspect element, wait 10,000 years, uh, and this button up here, the device toolbar, lets you preview it on a phone. Like, what does this look like on a iPhone X? Well, it looks like this. Um, so normally that's what I do. I preview it in there. It's easy to see errors and so on. Um, yeah, and that's how you make an app. Uh, more in future videos, like, for example, how do I change the icon of my app? Um, you know, you might want to actually do something. This app doesn't do anything. But yeah, super exciting. Have fun. Go crazy. Woo!